Hi again, I'm Carson from Guys With Games. Today I'm going to show you how I have used commercial logos in kind of like this quiz fun format to not only play an English game, but also to either introduce or reinforce some real world conversation or communication skills. If you take a look at the sheet that we have created, this is up on our Patreon if you're interested. But it has 20 different logos. Uh, keep in mind too that these are regionally different. If there is no Burger King, for example, in your country, don't use that logo. Use something that the students would be familiar with. Anyway, the way that I play is on each one of these lines, there's room to write two things. The first thing that they're going to write, if they know it, is the name of this company. So if we look back at the whiteboard, they're going to write Starbucks if they know that that is the name of this company. And then if they don't know this, they still can get a point. So if they get the name of the company right or nearly right, I'll give them a point. But I also tell them for each one of these logos, you're going to write two things. The first thing is the name, if you know it. And the second thing would be something that they sell. This makes it guessable. If you don't know this, then you wouldn't even have any chance to guess the name of the com company. But if you didn't know this at all, and you were just looking at this icon, and you had to guess, what would you say? Something that they sell. If they know it, obviously, they could write coffee, or tea, or whatever else Starbucks sells. That's fine, as long as it's something that they sell. But let's take a look at a different one. If you see this and you have no idea what it is, you could guess that they make cars, or that they make shoes or clothing, something like that. So there's always a chance for you to get one point. Now, playing through this game is a lot of fun. I break my students into teams of two or three, and I give them each a copy of my sheet. They have a few minutes to go through it and write down two answers for each logo. And once we're done, we'll check and count the points and see how many points you have. As I said, there are 20 logos on my paper, so a grand total of 40 points possible. The last part that I want to express to you is that you could play this game at any time, but I like to do it when you're reinforcing real-world communication skills. So what does that mean? You, the teacher, could either be using this when you have some conversation practice that practices like a real-world conversation that would happen between a customer and a clerk, or if you're talking about a computer, a uh, company, you could talk about different parts of the computer, as long as it has something to do with what you're teaching that day. And again, this to me, I think works best when you're practicing conversations that people have in the real world using English. That would be a perfect time to play this kind of game. Anyway, that's how you play, and thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.